it, but I wouldn't mind doing it for, for the rest of my life. Right on. Well, keep just keep going. pushing yourself. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Good great. job. Good Mel. job. Thank you so much. Mo Green. Right. Some more comedy, y'all. What's happening, Mo? So, <laughs> All right, go ahead, Ethan. What are you going to do for us, Mo? You going to make try, us laugh? I'm going to try to do a little bit of stand-up comedy. I'm going to make an attempt. I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. We're ready to laugh. Here. Bring it up. Ready to laugh? Yeah. All right. I guess you don't care where I'm from. I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Um, <laughs> I don't get the red carpet treatment or something, man. Uh, well, uh, I'm getting older, though. I'll be, I'll be 39 in two weeks, man. And, um... With the aging and everything, it catches you off guard. Like, a couple weeks ago, I had a dream I was playing basketball, and then I woke up with a torn ACL. <laughs> Gotta take ice baths. I'm using Bengay like it's lotion. <laughs> and age is one of those things that really catches you unexpectedly. Like, I realized I was getting old when I realized I really do enjoy the taste of a pastrami Reuben. Cause that's an old school sandwich. It would come with all the fixings. Swiss cheese, Thousand Island, sauerkraut. That's convalescent cuisine. And I have it every Thursday at 4 p.m. with a tapioca pudding and a yoo-hoo while watching the Golden Girls. I think Blanche is beautiful. And if they could bring her back to life, I would make her my boo-boo. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Thank you for being a friend. Help me out. Travel around the road and... Y'all slow. Your heart is true. You're a pal in the car for the heart. <laughs> Blanche was gorgeous, man. She the reason why I date older ladies to this day. And I ain't talking about 10 years older. I'm talking about AARP status. I'm talking about like Joanna Raposa status that I'm just on a stage earlier. Just joking, just joking, just jokes. Cause they know the one that has its advantages, man. They cook for you, they clean for you. They have Alzheimer's so they forget if you cheat on them. Don't judge me, a player gotta be a player. I do a lot of Tinder dating. You know what I'm saying? But most women that I meet on Tinder brag about being 35. I'm 35. And I know for a fact that they're 50. Because no woman brags about being 35 unless they're 50. And ladies, this is the, this one don't make sense to me. When y'all start to get older and lie about your age, don't lie down meaning say you're younger. Lie up, say you're older. Because if you're 40 and you say you're 55, they're like, oh my God, you look so wonderful for your age. Do you use cocoa butter? You getting more likes on your Facebook pictures, you probably get random money from strangers. But if you're 40 and say you're 25, they're gonna be like, yeah, right. I can tell by the wrinkles on your hands. The turkey neck is a dead giveaway. Cause this one chick I met, she had a turkey neck. She tried to lie about her age. And I told her a couple of jokes and made her laugh. She was like, oh, oh, I was like. <laughs> Y'all Thanksgiving was like three months ago. What, I gotta bring cranberry and stuff into the first date? <laughs> oh man, I'm getting fat, man, I'm out of breath. You know you getting fat when you get tired from talking? <laughs> you know you getting fat when you get out of breath from breathing? I'll be snoring at night when I'm sleeping and be like, <laughs> Luke, I'm your, I thought it was Darth Vader in the bed next to me. But being bigger has its advantages, man. Because now that I weigh over 260, I can do big people impersonations. Like the comedian Lavelle Crawford. If y'all don't know who he was, he was in uh, Better Call Saul. He was his big bodyguard from uh, Breaking Bad. He was like, oh my God, I'm so glad I got this gastric bypass, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when I used to be smaller, you know, you used to take 10 hours to get on an airplane. You got to put your right foot in, your right foot out. 
right foot in and shake it all about. And then when I finally do get on an airplane, I got to get a double, double extra wide seat. When I try to sit on the seat, the seat look at me, look up at me and say, please, sir, don't sit on me. I got family and kids. I don't care about your family and kids. I'm trying to trying to make some money doing my comedy thing sitting on you. And then I realized my father was a bodybuilder, but he never raised me. So every single day, my mother used to feed me honey buns. <laughs> You cannot do that unless you're 260 or better. Thank you for being a friend. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. You can sing too. All right, Suzanne. So I, I missed when you said where you were from, but where? Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut, the capital. Do you ever get down here to perform? Say it again. Do you ever get down here to perform in other venues? Not in this particular. I've never performed in this area, no. Where was the last venue you performed at? I did a uh, comics at the Mohegan Sun. I did the Paid or Pain show. Awesome. awesome. Great job. We really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Make, make some noise, guys, for Mo yeah. Green. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Ivy. So this.